It's Scott with Yakima here. Today we're going to talk about using our High Road rooftop bike rack. It's ready to go right out of the box and no tools are required. So let's get going. First thing, get the High Road onto your roof rack. The mounting system is universal, so High Road fits most crossbars. Align the front mounts with your front crossbar. Now, slide the rear wheel tray back to gain access to the top of the rear mount. Slide the rear mount to align with your rear crossbar. Slide the cover of the rear mount open. Lift the lever up and back, past the detent, that's the catch point shown here, then drop the lever down through the frame of the tray. Now, lift the high road up off the crossbar, enough to route the strap underneath it, and pull the lever back up through the frame. With the strap in place under the rear crossbar, hook the tabs back into the catch points, and adjust the strap tension with the thumb wheel. Close the lever until your high road is secured to the crossbar. If it slides, go back and tighten up the thumb wheel until the rack is secure. Once it's set, slide close the cover on the rear mount. Now the front. It works pretty much the same way, except there are two straps up here. First, raise the big hoop, then the small hoop. Slide the front covers back, both of them, open the levers and lift them up to clear the detents, and drop them through the opening. Lift up, route the straps under your crossbar, hook the levers tabs back into the detents, and tighten the tension with the thumb wheel. Make sure it's on there tight. Close up the covers and set the hoops back down. Now try and slide your rack on the crossbars and make sure it's secure. On there? Good. For T-slot crossbars like Yakima Jetstream bars, you can purchase the Smart Slot Kit 1 to easily mount your high road directly to the T-slot. Now let's load your bike up. First, choose which side you want the rear wheel strap on. It can mount on either, so put it where it'll be easiest to access. Thread the strap, teeth facing outward, and tuck it out of the way so it doesn't snag your wheel. Raise the big hoop. The high road will fit any bike that has 26 to 29 inch wheels and tires up to three and a quarter inches wide. Now, grab your bike. Place the bike up on the rack and roll into place. Then, raise the small hoop into place. You can avoid frame contact by lifting the small hoop with one hand while rolling the front wheel toward the big hoop. Now, tighten the torque right knob until you hear a clicking sound, like a gas cap. Secure the rear wheel by sliding the rear wheel tray so it's underneath the wheel. Then thread the strap between your spokes and through the buckle. Pull on the strap to tighten. Want to lock it up? Easy, just purchase two of our SKS lock cores. Then install one in the tail whip cable and run it under your roof rack's crossbar, then up through your bike frame, locking it with your SKS key. Add the other SKS lock core to the rear crossbar mount to secure the high road to your crossbars. You can add extra security for your bike when your vehicle is parked by threading a U-lock through the opening in the small hoop and around your bike frame. To unload, just release the rear wheel strap, tuck it away, support your bike, release the knob, lower the small hoop, carefully roll your bike back out of the big hoop, and bring it on down. Removing the high road for storage is easy. Slide open the front mount covers, undo the two straps, slide open the rear mount cover, undo that strap, lift, and store. That's it. It's as easy as one, two, go.